Hey you guys, so I am doing a sugaring recipe and what I have here is half a cup of sugar and about two tablespoons of um, lemon juice and here it will, I'll measure out two tablespoons of um, water. So I will add the sugar to my pot and Excuse me. I have this spoon. Um, this will be my tablespoon. So I will get the lemon and I will do two tablespoons. Like that. Then I will get my water. And add two tablespoons as well. And because I have a non stick pan, I will use my wooden spoon to stir it. And then I will turn on the heat. So I will stir it and keep stirring it until. Of course, the sugar dissolves, and then I want it to be like an amber color, so I'll be back when that happens. Okay, so you can kind of see that the sugar has dissolved, and of course, it's not that gritty sound that was um, sounding earlier. It'll turn, it was kind of clear. This is kind of like a simple sugar recipe, I guess, but it's also a natural sugar that people can use for their own waxing, for those that prefer something that's natural. And like I said, this is sugar, lemon, and water. And once it um, gets to, like, I don't want to say a hard ball or softball stages for those that are uh, familiar with candy making, it's pretty much along those same lines. So this is my DIY, and later on, I will use the same mixture on my daughters. They're coming here for um, sugaring so that I can remove hair either on their underarms or legs. But as you can see, it's starting That's to foam. boil as it continues to cook. At least I thought. But it's clear. As you can see, it is a little yellow hint to it. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of getting a little thick here, but still bubbling, foaming up rather. A um, little bit yellowish here. My burner is still somewhat of a medium high. And you can tell it's getting thick. Okay, it's getting that amber color. Okay, let me take this off the stove. As you can see on my brush, I mean my spoon there the color and because I took it off the burner you can see you can see a little bit more of the color itself and you just want to let it set and cool down and as it cools, you can keep stirring it um, looking at it I hope I didn't cook it too too long but you can see that the foam and the bubbles are leaving and we'll see how it does with waxing I think I'm gonna pour it in a container while it's still movable. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this mixture into this container. And it's getting thicker. Um, hope it's not messing up this container. Um, it is too. It is too hot for this container. And then with this empty thing, all it is is sugar and, and liquid. I mean, sugar and liquid, so you just put water in it. This is okay, but what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it's hot. So I'm going to just let this sit. I mean, I can let it sit, maybe because the, the container is hot. So I'll probably let this sit in 
So I'm making another batch, and I am cooking this to 240 degrees, which will be like a softball stage. And, um, yeah, so making it again. So I am not stirring it right now, but I'm putting this in here so you'll see what stage it is at. I'm not having this all the way in there, but... So I want it at 240. Okay, when it was on the burner, it showed it as, let me put it like this. Okay, so this is the first wax that I made and I'm kneading it in my hand. And it's very firm and I'm hoping that in time it'll be you know soft enough to where I can use it And this is where I got it out of. This might go in my tea because it's just too hard. <laughs> 